Okay, guys, we are to the point of our second packet of math, uh, packet number 98. Essentially, it deals with uh, transposing. And if you remember your Algebra 1, uh, it's an essential skill. Half of the problems that you will encounter on your AccuPlacer test will deal with transposing. It's a basic skill and uh, not that hard, but there are some basic rules and this is an essential packet. The students who get this one and 99, the next one, tend to just kind of coast on downhill and we add spot skills and you become very close to ready and get rid of half of the developmental courses of your math. I'd like to go through the first pages and I'm going to focus on pages four to six to start with. Now, pages four to six, uh, it starts off talking about the additive, okay? The additive axiom. Hey, it means you can add something to one side of the equation and the other side of the equation. As long as you add the same thing to each side, it's still equal. That's the basic principle. When you add something or subtract something equally to each side, an equation is still equal. You know that, right? Yeah, okay, let's keep it simple. We'll do about 170 million problems. No, no, a few less. We'll do enough problems where you're familiar and you don't have to have the big words. Now, I'm going right to page number five. Essentially, transposing means you move articles back and forth different directions. I cho chose problem number seven because it has the negative x here. And I'm going to choose to do it and move that negative x that way. And I, to start out with, students, I sometimes have them use an arrow like that. Get the numbers to one side and the unknowns, the variables, the letters on the other side. To make it come from a negative x, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. We're going to move the 14 and get the numbers on the other side. Okay, here's how we go. A negative x, you do realize you have to get rid of it by doing the opposite side. You put a plus x, that cancels that, zero. And you add a plus x on this side. I moved it, put it there and this there on the equal. Now what I do here, that 14 is a plus 14. I'm going to subtract 14 and I'm going to get rid of that with a negative. That means I've got to put a negative 14 right under that 30. I've moved both pieces by doing the same thing to each side. Negative, negative, positive x, positive x. I think you can understand that. Over here I've got a plus x because I moved a negative x. 30 take away 14. Everybody knows that that is, yeah, there is your answer. That's what transposing is. Take your time, be careful. If you want to use arrows, please work the problems on those pages. The fractions are easy, they come out even intentionally. Don't trip out, it isn't hard fraction action. Jackson, no, whatever your name is, you know what I mean. Uh, the other part of it is, I'm gonna to go to multiplication next, okay? That's at the bottom of page six. So you can pause it, go ahead. We're looking at pages six, Sixes. Pages six and seven. Okay, now it's learning how to cancel identical pieces that are on each side of the equation. The example is easy, I, it's not complicated. I looked at page number seven, the principles explained at the bottom of six, but number seven uh, has a problem number six and it's got some uh, pieces here that you can cancel and I wanted to focus on them. As you look at number six, you can look here. You've got an X on this side, no X over there. Don't cancel the X. Okay, look here at this, negative one-tenth and a negative one-tenth. Is it a little too obvious? Here's what you do. You say, identical sign, identical amount, bye-bye. You take the same thing away from each side of the equation, the equation is still equal. If you add the same thing, multiply the same thing, divide the same thing from the equation, as long as you do the same thing to each side of that equal sign, it is still inequality. Now, a little trick here. See that three-fifths and the four and three-fifths? This is a mixed number, a whole number, and a fractional portion right there. 
the three fifths here, believe it or not, if you can be tricky enough, don't get carried away. You can cancel it here. You can't do that everywhere, but you can do it in this situation on this problem. So what do we have left here? Oh yeah, there's your equal sign. I moved it a little bit. That's gone and that's gone. X equals four. I know that's a little too easy now, isn't it? Now you can do the page. Go ahead, don't trip out, use the paper tutor. We'll go to our next one and it's gonna deal with multiplying and dividing. Uh, on each side of the equation and then transpose it. Okay, we can do it. One thing I did not tell you is that the book is tricky on purpose. One of the things they do when you had you cancel identical values on each side of the equation. I've gone on to page 8 to 10, but in some of them, just I'll, I'll show you just an example. This isn't the, I'm going to go back to this problem here on page 10, but uh, on some of them say that minus 16, sometimes I'll put like a plus 16 trying to get you to cancel the negative 16 and the plus 16. You can't do it, okay? So watch out for that little trick they're doing it to you on those previous pages. You probably found that out. The other thing is, starting now from pages 8 to 10, this is called the multiplicative axiom. It means if you multiply or divide either side of the equation by the same thing, it's still an equal value equation. It's an equality. Okay, here we go. Number uh, ten, uh, problem four on page ten. You've got a five x minus sixteen to six x. Basically, what they're going to do is I am so lazy I'd do it another way, but I'm going to do it their way. I'm going to move the x slavishly this direction. I'm going to move that one that direction. Okay, pretty simple. It's a plus six x. Right, minus six x. <laughs> Check, check, zero. I've got my minus eight left there. Sorry, that's just to keep you thinking clearly about making it different. Okay, now over here, I've got to move my six. So that's a minus, same sign, six X. Don't forget the X with the six. People get to writing things, write it carefully, learn it carefully. And that is you have a minus X right there. Now I'm going to move the negative 16 with a plus 16. Okay, what do I get? Bye-bye. Now I need a plus 16 here. Got that one? Well, you know what 16 minus 8 is. Sure. There you go. Now there. There's your answer. Negative X is a plus 8. Now what do you do with that negative sign right there? Basically, you want to make this positive and that negative. You're going to flop the sign. But the technical way you do it, you can do it two ways. You can uh, multiply by a minus one each side. Did you know that? You can multiply. Negative times negative is positive. Negative times positive is negative. You just swap the sign by doing the same thing to each side. I do a tricky thing because of another reason. I usually use the divide mechanism, okay? The book shows you multiplication. I, I use the division. I'll tell you sometime later because I'm lazy. Uh, you are the first one you're helping get through this material and pass the Accuplacer. You are in the hundreds that I've helped more than 12 years on this material. Let's do it by division, if you would. And you can ask me in person why. Okay? Negative into negative is a plus x. Okay? So a plus x equals a negative into that equals a negative 8. So x equals negative 8. It's just that simple, guys. You can have fun. Do the page. Go for it. That's how you handle it. Take, uh, get the rote procedure, do your markings the way you need to do them, make them clear, don't be sloppy like me. You'll get good. Let's, we'll get you next.